Probefahrer Alex here in California in Petaluma with Costa Schuler. And the reason why we are standing on this uh, parking lot here is, hmm, let's say, the pen car. What is a pen car exactly before I show it? Well, the pen car is a 1981 Mercedes Benz 300 SD uh, and it's covered with uh, 10,000 pens. 10,000 pens. Or so. I, I haven't actually counted them all, but it's a rough estimate. Yeah. Um, I found an art car book at the library one day and I was so excited about uh, the idea of uh, making my car into an art car. Um, uh, and then two years after that, the idea for pens came to me one morning and uh, I decided to start gluing pens on my car. With, I started with 20 pens and I started telling all my friends about it and they kept giving me all their dead pens. Uh -huh. And, uh, and pretty, pretty soon, five years later, I've completely covered the outside and the inside with, with all kinds of pens. Okay, let's show it. <laughs> Here it is! The pen car! <laughs> that is so awesome. Can you show me around a bit? Yeah, sure. Um, so, I just the idea was to get as many as pens on the car, so uh, create nice, some nice patterns here. I have, uh, I created, decorated the inside, actually painted the inside of the car with acrylic paint and glued pens, and uh, I have pens on the dashboard that actually come off with Velcro. So I can take them off, and this is my microphone, you see? Oh. I got a microphone pen, of course, everything is a yeah. pen. <laughs> and uh, so all these are I can play with and remove. And uh, here I have some drain pipe that I found, and uh, I glued them on top of the car, and I just shoved the pens right in there. I mean, they come off. It's not very, very <laughs> okay. safe, but uh, you know, this car would not be street legal in, the, in, in Germany, of course. I would break, I'd be breaking many laws there in Germany, so. And this is the executive section. I have all metal pens here on this side here. Any Mont Blancs on it? Uh, actually, I, I won't do that. Uh. I have Mont Blancs in the back of the car, but I don't have them on the car. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, and then this is the, you know, every uh, quintessential uh, car has to have fins on it. I know it's, it's a German car, but I added some of my own fins because uh, most of our cars have fins. Okay. We like uh, old American cars, so we, you know, traditional American, you know, old style, so we, we put fins on the cars. They're rockets! They're rockets, they're rocket boosters. This is actually just like uh, a 55 gallon drum that I cut up. This is like drain pipe, and this is like a, one of those uh, roadside cones. Okay. I kept the Mercedes logo because that was important, so people know that it is a Mercedes. Yes. And it's a 300 SD and it's one of the best cars I've ever had. This is my daily driver, so I'll, no uh, yeah, yeah, I take, I go to the grocery shop, I drop the kids off to school and go do my daily errands in my car. I meet clients with it, so. What do the other kids at the school say? The, the kids think they're, it's pretty cool. Now you have a Mercedes uh, pen as well. <laughs> yeah, actually you, you contacted me and then you brought over, where is it? I got a Mercedes, uh, Mercedes Benz pen that's gonna, actually I'm gonna write with this first because it works. It's hard to find a, a pen that works. Yeah. So if I find pens that work, I actually use them. Yeah. Because if I'm in the car and, my, and I drop my pen, then, then I can't find a pen that works. It's really, yeah, that's... it's tricky. And I'll show you the inside here. Now that's what I call colorful. So cool. That's a dinosaur. Yeah, absolutely. Everything's a pen. So we got dinosaur pens. I got this pen. This car is kind of cool. Whoa. It's actually a little, it's a pen. Yeah. And it's got little wheels that work. So what what are you uh, doing with the car? Are you going like to, to shows? I or? go to, there's a, an event here in San Francisco called Art Car Fest. Mm -hmm. And uh, Harold Blank is part of that. He actually wrote the book about art cars. He's a famous art car person and movie maker. So uh, we hang out once a year. We get together about three or four days in San Francisco and we drive around San Francisco, Berkeley, San Jose, uh, Santa Cruz. Yeah. And we just drive around, make a, make a, make a like a big parade, you yeah. know. Are there uh, any uh, pens on it you have worked with in your job as a graphic designer? Well, I use uh, this is actually my favorite pen, the uh, the Pilot G. Okay. It's a gel pen, so this is actually one of my favorite pens that I use. Ah, okay. Uh, I will send the video to the Mercedes Benz Museum, I guess. You know, if the, the museum wants this car, you know. They can have it, you know. They just have to give you new pants. Yeah, absolutely, or a new, and a new car or something. Or an, 80, an 82 would be fine, you know, I don't care. <laughs> For me, like, taking the art on the road is, is important because it allows more people to enjoy and participate in your art. Yeah. And if it's in a museum, it's limited to the people that actually go to the museums. Yeah. But being out on the street, it's like an interactive thing. Yeah. That's the best part for me. But how did you uh, come up with the idea with the pens? Why pens and not like uh, marbles or whatever? It just came to me one day, you know, I mean, 
I'm always, I love pens. All these pens are given to me, so everybody's got a, a drawer or like a mug with, filled with pens mm -hmm. that just sit there and they don't work and they just, I don't know what to do with these pens and they mm -hmm. throw them out. So my job is to collect them all. Yeah. And I'm actually hoping to collect like a million pens, you know, just like be that guy who collects a million pens yeah. and, and does like art projects with them.